Finally, what we've all been waiting for. I just want to become a Sith. Wait, this seems familiar. Stop the music, stop the music! I think we should just kill them all instead. Hello and welcome back, my name's Dabuya. Today we are finishing our Sith training and hopefully becoming a glorified Sith. Ah, oh, there you are. My favorite prospect for the year. Your favorite prospect? Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Absolutely. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, for shall reason. we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. What's so important about this tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. How do I know this isn't some test? <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well... Let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Very well, I agree. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. How do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that, if you like. Shall I go on? Can you tell me the code of the Sith? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? I think I got it. I am not surprised. The Force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. Uh, tell me about yourself. About myself? I'm originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. I'll be going. You have had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Easy McPeasy. Didn't even have to do anything. Okay, let's probably go see if we can give a crack at the Sith code. Keep wandering around the base. What do I do best? Stealing shit. Can we go into his little thing? No problem. Didn't work. Skill too low. I wonder if we bring our droid. Hmm, I can't do it here. You? Yep. Oh well. Hello, little scumbag. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alguin. S is something wrong? I. Oh, uh. Nothing. Are you sure? Yes. My master always says I'm too trusting. Too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I really shouldn't... You know. But I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. And you're not? Well, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, how did I mean it then? I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? You want to trust me. I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now I... I don't know. I have so many doubts. Is that it? Don't bother me with petty weaknesses. Yes, I'm... I, I, I'm sorry. Please, don't, don't tell anyone. I'll get over it, I guess. You're no Sith. 
I've never seen anyone so pathetic. I... I am too a Sith. I'm more a Sith than you are. I'll show you. Barely a Sith. You sniveling fool, dying to my blade. He stood no chance. Hello, Mex. Mech. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. Whatever. I'm the one who's going to make it. Well, you're off to a super start. You've got no more prestige than I do at the moment. Thing is, I know how to get some. You're lying. I can tell. Think what you like. Just remember, only one of us gets to become a Sith. Hey, there's Dustal. Does he look like Karth? Kinda does. Hey, Dustal. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? Through the front doors. Cute. I wonder how interested Master Utha would be to know just who he has in his whip. Unless you've switched sides, father. But I doubt that. Just why are you here, father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustle, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone, it's Father. Come to rescue me at long last. Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I, mean, I held her while... But I looked for you. I swear, I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars. And even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now. A family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me. You weren't even there to know me. So don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do. I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out! Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here! Honestly, the dude seems pretty happy here. Looks like your boy's all grown up, Karth. Shut up! Stay out of this! Is that all you do? Give out orders? Well, you can't show up after all this time and expect to give me orders. I'm not your soldier, and I'm sure as hell not your son. Stop it, Dustal. Stop it! I won't let you go on like this. What have they done to you? They gave me a life, old man. They gave me power. You? You didn't even give me so much as a second's notice. No, no. That's not true. I was there when you were younger, but I had to leave to fight. I fought for you, for your freedom. No, you didn't. You fought for yourself, for glory. Well, the Sith can do that too. We learn to fight and to kill. You want to see what I've learned, father? No, Dustal, don't. I don't. Too late, old man. You should have left when you had the chance. Sniveling fool. You have no chance against me. Here. Good. Get him, Carl. You can do the final blow. Okay, wait, he's doing too much damage. How'd you like that? Uh, he's too strong. What do you think of that, Karth? Yes, what's in your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Th there's nothing to talk about. I, I failed my son, just as I failed my wife. I thought if I ever found him. I, I just can't believe he's dead. I'm not... You should have stopped him. You should have done something to prevent this. Me? Why am I suddenly at fault? Oh, don't give me that innocent look. You can talk a hut out of his credits. You could have found a way. You could have saved him. He was the Sith Goth, remember? He was my son. I wish we hadn't come. I, I, I wish I'd never found him. Wishing weren't help, matters, will it? No, if it did, I would never have met you. I, no, I didn't mean that. Please, maybe it would be better if we just continued with the mission. I want to take my mind off this. Saving the galaxy is what's important now. My son, I, I can mourn my son later when we're done. So let's just go. I actually feel a little bit bad for Karth now. Maybe this evil thing isn't all it's all caught up to be. Anyway, let's go kill some more people. Hello. You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you actually made it into the academy. I remember you. I challenge you to a duel. A duel? Fine. You run along and get ready while I go gain some prestige. Idiot. Hey, Sharden. I remember you. You're alright. Trying for the academy, I see. So are you, obviously. That's true. 
I had no idea you were coming for the Academy when I met you in the colony, though. Who are you? The name's Chardin. Didn't I tell you that back in the colony? Maybe not. Do you want to coordinate a strategy? I don't work or play well with others. Thanks for the offer, though. Hello, big bad dude. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory... My chains are broken. The Force shall free me. <clears throat> yes, good. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false? That is nothing worse than love. False. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. How do I gain prestige? Oh, it is no more complicated than I said. Perform impressive deeds, or bring me a suitably valuable artifact from the Valley of the Dark Lords. Oh, so it's a popularity contest, basically. Wonderful. Really, however, you should seek out Euthura and get her advice. She is your trainer, after all, yes? I have something to tell you about Euthura. Oh? What is my apprentice up to now? She wants me to help her kill you at the final trial. I see. It is good that you have come to me with this information, young one. It is a bit... ironic that Euthura has begun her plotting. I have been aware of her growing ambitions for some time, and had in fact already decided to remove her. Normally, the one who gains the most prestige would engage in a final trial. Two of the students would fight. This time, it will be Euthura who battles, though she does not yet know it. Perhaps it will be you who combats her. Yes, perhaps so. This is what you can do. Give this pad to Adrenus. He will put some poison in her bath. This will weaken Euthura for that final test, making her an easy target. Rather generous of me, don't you think? I'd love to know what's going on in that tricky mind of yours. For coming to me with this information and betraying your foolish trainer, I feel you are worthy of prestige, young one. Go now. You have not yet impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. I'll be on my way. Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Mm, so, what else can we get up to in your interrogation room? Oh, maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been madly. Want me to try it? Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him, or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. Hello, sir. Give us your secrets. Doesn't want to speak. Okay. Use, use whatever your what method you wish, know? Sith. You will not break my will. My mind is my own. I will tell you nothing. Can you speak Galactic Basic? I know your language, Sith, but I won't give you the satisfaction of speaking it. You want to tell me where the cash is? Never. Your mind tricks do not work on me. They're useless. As you are. Activate Serum Console. Yeah, let's give him some high dosage, maybe? High dosage. I will say nothing. My mind is yet my own, Sith. Tell me where the weapon cache is. I will say nothing. Hmm. Activate serum console. Inject with small doses. You can do nothing to me. I retain my mind. Tell me where the weapon cache is. No, I will not. Activate serum console. Let's give him another small one. You can do nothing to me. I yeah, yeah, my mind. Tell me where the weapon cache is. I will. It is in my ship. The cache. It is in a trap door hidden on my ship. Yes, I heard that. Excellent job. Thank you for locating the cash. Naturally, I would see you rewarded, but I would prefer that everyone believe that I extracted the information. I'm not gonna let you get away with this. Oh? 
I suppose one would need to be alive to go running to Master Yutha to report the location of the cache, wouldn't they? Does that mean that you're ready to battle a true Sith then? Shall we make an issue of it? Let's go. Ha! Gather your anger then, and let us see who is superior. It is I who is the superior being here. Oh, they're all savored. Disengage, start swinging like a madman. <laughs> Oh, no chance. He had a green crystal. Maybe he was secretly good. Hey, dude, we did that interrogation. Do not forget our agreement regarding Euthurus. Yes, I know. I know the location of the Mandalorian prisoner's weapon cache. You do? That is most interesting. Where might that be? It is hidden in a trapdoor on his ship. Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not unearth on their own. I am impressed. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. See you later, boy. You have gained considerable prestige. Who's down here? Let me in. Come on, boys. Let's see what we can find down here. Did it 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 Oh there's a Sharak. Let's get a jump in on it. Let's see if we can insane it actually. Disengage insane We can and then lightning Let's see if we can do it again And again And more lightning And more Here it is so I guess, do we enter the caves now? Uh, yeah, let's enter the caves. Come on down. More Sherax, Sanity. Um, we'll probably just swing at these guys. Attack, guys. I'm doing all the swings here. I mean, they were easy, but... Still, you could have helped a little bit. Start swinging. Come on, boys. You shoot this time. Swing. Come on. Oh, there's one coming. Swing, swing, swing. Actually kill one for once, guys. Keep running through. Oh, Tukata? Oh, okay, so they're just doggoos. Oh, well, they're resistance to force powers. Let's go ham on them. They're all resistant. So they seem like the anti Jedi's, essentially. Hmm, they're not too hard, though. More worms. Let's see if we can lightning them. Get jump in on this guy. Fight you. Lightning this guy. Flurry down this fool. Oh, there's a big dude over there. Looks like a rancor. Like a baby one. Oh, more of you. Lightning. Oh, Jesus. Let's just go to start swinging. Swing, swing, swing. Hey, dudes. Probably gonna Hold kill it right you. there, whoever you are. But we're not going back to the academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. Guess we'll do this the hard way then. Open fire. Insanity. And lightning. And again. And again. Okay, I guess I'll start swinging because she's coming near my dudes. 
Oh no, I'm getting spun. We're all getting spun. Dude. That's what you get for attacking my guys. Come on, actually land hits. Land the hits. That's what we want to see. And lightning. Boom. Okay, let's see if we can take out big Chachungus over here. Bam! Oh, he's tough. Ooh, big hits. Not as tough as me, though. Yeah, you keep. Oh, shit! Get some big hits in, boys. Big hits. Let's see if we can, uh. Wound him. We're getting thrashed around. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, there's another dude behind him. Wait for him to poison the settle and then we'll go. Grab an antidote too and let's go. Come on, guys. Easy. Okay, there's some dudes coming. Multiple dudes coming. All sides. Oh, stop. Hit this guy. Let's wound this one. And strike him down. Kuldurama robes and some sort of journal. Interesting. The data pad appears to be the personal journal to Jedi Dorian Kuldurama. Dorma. The last entry reveals what he was doing on this world. Korriban is everything I imagined and feared. I can feel the power of the dark side here. I can sense the Terran Tatek hiding in this evil place. Shayla and I have decided to venture forth into the valley of the Sith Lords in search of the creatures. I only wish Gan Han was still with us. Why couldn't he just accept that Shayla and I are in love? He claims our passion for each other will lead us to the dark side, but he can't even see how his own pride and arrogance are leading him away from the light. Maybe it is good that he left. After all, even as dangerous as the Terran Dak are, I'm certain Shayla and I can defeat one without his help. Interesting little story there, eh? Well, let's go all the way back out of this cave. I don't even think we needed to do anything in here. We can probably tell them that we killed those little noobs at the start. Okay, down into the Valley of Death? I can't remember what it's called, actually. Oh, God. The second tomb on the left within the valley is the tomb of Naga Sadow. It is off-limits to all students, unless they're in the company of Master Yuthar. Okay. Hello, Gail. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the Academy, aren't you? I can't say we've ever met. What are you doing here? I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Who is Ajanta Paul? Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. His sword? According to legend, Ajanta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Why don't you go in then? No, these tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Are you a coward then? No, I, I, I want power as much as the next person, but I'm not stupid. I know what I'm capable of. Has any effort been made to re recover it? Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. What do you know about the sword's power? Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. I've got to be going. Of course. Don't let me keep you from your business. Thank you for watching this week, folks. Sadly, we had to kill Karth's son, and that's probably the one thing I've actually regretted doing so far. Hopefully next week we'll be able to finish these tombs off and hopefully finish our Sith training. Thank you for watching. <laughs>